Hey everybody, it's Anna and my little trusty sidekick Mookie. He's a little bit of a reluctant co-host today, so I think he might jump out of screen soon. But I wanted to do a DIY for modern art and share it with you guys. First, I'm gonna talk about some tips for DIY because I feel like I'm a somewhat experienced DIYer at this point because I used to love getting antique furniture and redoing it for apartments when I was on a budget. And one thing that I've really learned is that you spend a lot of time and effort and you have to buy products like paint or paint brushes and sanders. So you can really end up spending a lot more than you think on DIYs. And if you're considering doing it because you're on a budget, I really recommend you look into things like the Buy Nothing Project where you can join a local area group of people who want to give away items or get items that are being given away basically to reduce waste and it's environmentally friendly, but it's also really friendly on your pocketbook. You might think that because everything is free that it's not necessarily good stuff, but I can tell you at least from my area, people give away really good things like crate and barrel coffee tables that have a marble top and some, you know, some antique things, some brand new things. Most of the listings are good because it shows who the person is that's giving it away and it's in your area. So they're not just giving you their trash. Um, but dumpsters also sometimes have some pretty good things next to them. And that's actually where I got the framed canvas that I ended up using for my DIY project. A roughly six foot by four foot canvas and the frame so that would easily cost you around $350 if you went to an art supply just to get that base element that you need to even start with the project and everything was new and that doesn't include paint or other supplies. If you're DIYing because you want to create something really special that adds to your space, then you know you don't need to worry about these things but if you're trying to do something because you want to recycle things for an environmental purpose or you're on a budget i really really recommend that you find some kind of creative ways to get stuff for free and then upcycle it sort of like found art that's what i did the other thing that is good about using a piece of art that's already been painted is that it creates a depth of texture and color for you and you don't need to do as many steps yourself to create that but i will say that when you get the piece of art if you know it's acrylic you can use acrylic paint but you can't put acrylic paint over oil paint so I used oil and I also prefer oil. It's, it's got a, a lot more texture, buildability, and it takes much longer to dry. So that gives you more time to play around with it. And if you live in an apartment and you happen to get some paint on the floor or the ground, you have days to wipe that up. I recommend you wipe it up right away, but you really have a lot of time when you're working with oil paint. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. I cleaned the canvas and the frame with Lysol, then I completely dried it, and I used painter's tape to cover the sides so that I wouldn't get any of the oil paint on the frame because I wanted to reuse it and not have to buy a new one. This is just a step that helps prepare you to then go ahead and paint the canvas. And I also looked up what I would need <clears throat> to clean the brush. 
and you do need paint thinner to clean it or to thin the paint if you want a sh more sheer finish. But you can actually just use any vegetable oil that's in your kitchen. I can leave a link for how to use oil paints down below because I'm not the biggest expert, but as far as covering the canvas, I basically just used a really big brush and went for it. There was no method. So this is my final product. From afar, it looks like it's purely white, but when you get closer, you can see more color and texture. It's got some warmer cream, and it's got some gray tones, it's got some pink, it has raised texture that I think is beautiful. And because of the pink color in the canvas, I like to have pink flowers on the table. And I think pink and green and fresh elements, just for me personally, add a hag or like a, a cozy, homey feeling, especially since a lot of the other elements in the home are more like modern and minimalist, but then we have a traditional table. So it's definitely an eclectic style, but I feel like it's all pulled together because the black on the frame matches the black on uh, the curtain rod, and then the side table has some black. I've got a cream and kind of brownie colored rug so that like the wood color is kind of tied in and then i am actually looking for a copper vase but in the meantime i have this copper beer mug because it echoes the lighter tan color in the rug really well and ties that in so it's simple and all the elements in here have a function, but I feel like they have a cohesion even though it's eclectic. And I just like it because I feel like it really reflects my personality. And to me, that's the best part of having DIY things in your home because they really show your personality a lot more than anything that you could buy ready-made. I, I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know if you guys decide to try a DIY or use any of my tips, please let me know if you liked this video and you'd like something similar in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.